friends soon and draw a Halloween mouse. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along because art is always better with friends. Friends like you. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use markers, but you can use a pencil or a crayon. You also need some paper and something to go with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. We're using two sheets of paper so that our marker doesn't bleed through one and get onto the table. And then also we're using marker paper. That's because at the end we're going to color with markers. All right, first let's start by drawing our little mouse's nose. We're gonna draw the letter V right here in the middle of our paper. We're gonna draw it small since it's a little mouse. We're gonna, next we're gonna draw the top of the nose and then let's color in that upside down triangle shape. Nice, now let's draw the eyes. We're gonna draw a circle over here. I'm gonna draw it kind of big. And I'm gonna draw another circle over here the same size to match. Yeah. It's looking a little small, that's okay. You yeah. can draw it again. That comes out a little bit bigger because we're going to color it in. There you go. There's no mistakes, right? Yeah. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Yeah, we hope you're having fun too. And it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. I'm sure they're turning out awesome also. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw a small little circle in the top left of each eye. And since the eyes are so big, I'm going to draw another circle for another highlight or reflection. Then let's color in the big circle, but leave those two little circles white. That part we sped up, so remember you can pause the video for extra time. Okay, now let's draw the head of our mouse. I'm gonna start right next to the eye, and I'm gonna be really close to the side of the eye, come up, over, and then close on this side too, and then back down. And it looks like a big, giant, upside down U, letter U. Nice. It doesn't really look like a mouse though. What yeah. should we add? Ears. Yeah, big ears. Let's start here. We're gonna draw a big curve that comes out around and then back in. It's a big oval shape, but only part of it since it's connecting to the head. Yes, now let's, this part's a little tricky. We're gonna try to draw that same shape over here, same size so that it matches. We're gonna start by drawing the curve coming out and is it okay if the ears aren't exactly the same? Yeah. Yes, of course. I love your mouse so much. Okay, now let's draw the pumpkin. I'm gonna make sure that these two side lines are equal. They come down at the same place. Then let's draw a curve that comes around and connects to the other side. Yeah, now let's draw our pumpkin. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out like this. We're gonna come around. <laughs> And we're going to come all the way over to the other side and we're going to connect over here. <laughs> it's either a really big mouse or a super small pumpkin. Uh, which one do you think it is? Pumpkin. Yeah, let's say that. It's a small pumpkin with a small mouse. I like that too. Now we need to add a face to our pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. This part we'll fast forward though because let's challenge each other to draw our own faces. Okay. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. I like your face so much, especially that mouth. <laughs> now you guys can pause the video to match one of our faces or draw your own funny pumpkin face, jack-o'-lantern face. Yeah. All right, awesome. We have one more thing to do to our drawing. Color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward one more time, but remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings also. All right, you ready to fast forward again? Yeah. Awesome, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our Halloween mouse and it turned out awesome. I hope our art friends will color their drawings too. Yeah, you can pause the video right now and match our same coloring or you can color any way you want. We used our biannual markers to color with, but you can use whatever you have at home. Yeah, you could use crayons or even colored pencils. If you have the same set, we use CG03 for the mouse and then the darker part we use CG05. 
The pumpkin we used Y505 for the orange and the yellow is Y107. We used two pinks for the ears. We used a lighter color for the whole thing and that color is R502 and the other one is R213. Yeah, the dark color is R213. I also added whiskers and a candle on top of my mouse's head. You could add whatever you want to your drawing. You could even add a background. Maybe there's more mice or even more candles or pumpkins. Yeah, we hope you have a lot of fun drawing a Halloween mouse. We do, and we hope you take extra time to add more things and even color your drawings. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.